Greetings, this is Agro Jungle. This is a review of ILO. ILO is an open source Python IDE. It is in an integrated development environment. It can be compiled from source at GitHub, can be installed from downloaded binaries, I installed version 3.12.4 from the Fedora repos. So, let's begin. So the first thing we'll do is syntax highlighting, and you can tell you see the syntax highlighting comes on, so that they all complete. And you just press enter, and then it will print uh, or it will do its work. So for example, comments, uh, this, this is a comment for syntax highlighting. It also does, uh, for example, if you need to You see it detects the errors as well. Let's try that again. One more time. You see, automatically indented. So that's called smart indent. Now, if I want to run my function, it prints out what's inside my function. Now, we're going to try the search and replace. Do something simple here. Name equals John, and if I go to edit, replace John with Johnny. Please stop. So now we're going to try the multiple windows. So you go to file, we go to new file, I go to file, go to save as, and I will save it as test.py for Python. And as you notice here, there's nothing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take some of the code from the learning Python course. As you know, we have the learning Python course. You can find it at jumboshop.com slash learning Python. Once you purchase this course, remember there's a 20% off for the rest of 2024. Uh, you go to your account and you're going to see your courses and the paid content. So what you do is click on the Python course if you remember last time we left off at the uh, variables, so we, we did all these variables uh, both in uh, the IDE text editor and you can also do it in web one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on from uh, from there to chapter 
to do, which is the data types. So we're going to do some data types. And you can see these different uh, uh, data types here. So we go on and we're going to try this in the idle ID for Python. First time ever, recording. And then, if you're not sure what, you can use the type built in uh, Python. And this will tell you, so if I hit save here, I can run this. You can just click run module, or just run a Python shell on the network, and you can see it prints Hello World. Go window. And it appears in my window here. So next, <coughs> I'm going to comment this out here. Now we're going to try it. To, uh, we're going to try casting integers. So int one five and int two equals int. So that's clearly not an integer. And three equals okay. So you've got a print and one and two. And then print and three. Alright, so we run this. And you see it's three because it made them into integers. The window again. I'm going to copy this. I like this. Go to format, editor, replace. So I want to replace the word int with float. It's, a, it's the same thing, I just wanted to make sure I just want to make it 9.0 because this is a string, this is a this is a float and this is an int. So we should get 5.0, 3.0, 9.0 if everything works as intended. There we go. 5.0, 3.0, 9. I forgot to comment the other though. Do that next. Okay, so we are actually going to copy this. This time it's going to be strings. So we will change the word. So this will be. Um. 
So this is a S5, 3, and 3, 9.0 because it will be output as, as strings. So go to file, save, run, and not convert string to float. So that's a mistake right there that we open up here and it should be straight because I'm casting it straight. File, save, options, and there we go, S53 and 9.0. Oh, just a minute, I forgot to do the debugger. So for the debugger, you go to debug, debugger, then we go to the here and I will stop it right here. If I right click, you set the, the uh, breakpoint, and if I run this, you see it stops on that line. That's simply you can always go and step over and all the rest of the stuff for the debugger. You can get the full article at jumbo.com slash python hyphen integrated hyphen development hyphen and hyphen learning hyphen environment. And then more, more information about IO is available at on the Python website, just search for IDO. It's also available on GitHub if you want to download or compile by from source. And remember, you can get the learning Python course at jungleshop.com slash learning hyphen python. And remember, you still get a limited time to the end of the year, 20% off uh, the, the price. And if you remember, also, uh, you don't need an idea to install Python, you can simply use this on uh, the built-in one. So for example, if I say string 1 equals string s5, and I can say print. Compile and you see the output will be down here. Thank you.